You may not realize it, but there's a lot more that goes into maintaining a neighborhood besides just taking out the trash and mowing the grass. Over time, things like roads, street lights, and playgrounds need to be replaced. If these improvements aren't made, an entire neighborhood can quickly fall into decay and it makes it impossible for residents to take pride in where they live. I hear you saying, that's a lot of money and where's it going to come from? Believe it or not, Wausau has been receiving a grant to do this very thing and we're excited to tell you about it. It's Community Development Block Grant Week and in this video, we're going to tell you what it is, what it does, and the impact it's made in Wausau's neighborhoods. So what is the Community Development Block Grant and why have I never heard of it? The Block Grant is a federal grant distributed by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development and is given to select communities with 50,000 people or more, although WASA is an exception to this rule. The City of WASA has received this grant every year since 1976 and it's made a tremendous impact on your community in ways you probably haven't realized. Historically, WASA has received between $500,000 and $800,000 each year from this grant, which is specifically spent on improving low to moderate income neighborhoods in WASA. The Community Development Block Grant can be spent in many different ways. Some of these include street repairs, playgrounds, low level lighting, nonprofit organizations, home repairs, new construction, and blight elimination. Have you driven down Prospect Ave or 7th Street at night and noticed the nice lighting along the boulevard? That was built using the block grant. How about the street repair on McIntosh or the new sidewalks near Athletic Park? Those were also built using the block grant. Have you noticed the beautiful new playground at Oak Island Park along the river? You guessed it, it was built using the funding from block grant. This only scratches the surface because like we said before, the City of Wausau has been receiving the block grant since the 70s. Let me tell you more about it. Nonprofits are important to our community and we use the block grant funding to support them. Take the new Community Partners Campus for instance. Not only did it help pay for the new construction, but it is also assisting the nonprofits inside it like the free clinic with lab testing and medical supplies. North Central Community Action Program with rent assistance and security deposits and Catholic Charities with the Warming Center and many of their other programs. The block grant also funds scholarships for low to moderate income families that want to send their children to Wausau's Conservatory of Music, paying for their lessons and their instruments. Additionally, the block grant funds programs at the Hmong American Center, such as their teen program and their entrepreneurial education. As you can see, nonprofits are important to our community and the block grant helps them in some really special ways. Money from the block grant has also helped low to moderate income homeowners afford to make much needed repairs and renovations. Through the city's homeowner rehab program, homeowners can receive low interest loans of just 2% with $50 per month minimum payments. Over the years, this program has financed millions of dollars in assistance to homeowners in the community. In the past, the city of Wausau would also partner with the North Central Technical College to build houses that would be sold to low-income families in the community. Unfortunately, this program has been discontinued by NTC, but when everything was in motion, 13 of these beautiful houses were built, and you guessed it, funded by the block grant. Lastly, some of our most impactful projects and those that we are most proud of are blight elimination. Over time, once beautiful and thriving homes and businesses unfortunately fall to ruins that no one wants in their neighborhood. For example, on Fulton and 7th, a once condemned house was demolished and new apartments were built that fit perfectly into the neighborhood. You wouldn't even know it's a multifamily residence if you didn't look closely. It just fits in so well. And most recently, the old Ponderosa Motel that was falling apart and deemed uninhabitable after a fire years ago was leveled and replaced by a new multi-unit, low-income apartment complex. So that brings us to today. Once again, this year, the City of Wausau has received the Community Development Block Grant and has been given $617,593 to put towards improvement projects. One of our projects that we're very excited about is building a new park on Jefferson Street. This park will be a great addition to the neighborhood and allow families quick access to an ADA accessible park right where they live. We're also using some of the funds to upgrade pedestrian crossing signals and push buttons to be ADA accessible. What this means is that these street crossings will give audible commands when crossing the street. 
This upgrade will complete an accessibility route through the downtown for blind and visually impaired users. Lastly, one of our long-term projects with the block grant has been to build a multi-unit apartment on the west side of the city. We're also working to build single-family homes around the city that will be rented or sold to low-income families. So there you have it. That's the Community Development Block Grant in a nutshell. As you can see, the impact of the block grant is very far-reaching with it impacting so many areas. It's important to know that in many cases, the block grant is not the only thing funding these projects, but there is usually additional support from other grants and funding from public and private entities. If you'd like to learn more about the block grant and how it works, you could follow the link in the description that will take you to the city's website. Every year, there are meetings of the Community Development Committee where they discuss how this money will be allocated for the year, and you're more than welcome to participate. Thank you for watching, and we hope you have a awesome day.